Hello, everybody, and welcome on our presentation. First, we must say that we are really humbled with this experience that uh, like two guys as us could be here. And first and foremost, we must thank you, uh, FAB team and Epic, for inviting us because we also sell our assets on their store. So thank you very much. Uh, we call this presentation the art of making a living as a, as a store creator. And yeah, we want to share our tips and story. Oh, yeah. Uh, hi. I'm Matěj, Pavel's colleague, yeah, I and today <laughs> <laughs> this is Pavel from Polyperfect, and today we'd like to share some, tip, some, some little story about how Polyperfect was made, and Pavel's story will continue with asset creation, how we do it, model it, texture it, how we brand it, and put it on market, and we all end up with some community comments and some little surprise at the end, so sit tight, enjoy, thank you very much. As a, every good story, it starts in the uh, parents' bedroom, right? And I, as a kid, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, when I grew up, uh, like, I uh, loved video games, as I, I believe most of you. And I love uh, playing them, but I also love to make them or try to make them. And when I was researching the tool that I can use by, uh, with using the 3D, and there was al already a game engine in it, I found a blender in uh, 2006, and when I saw it, I just told to myself, never. <laughs> I will never use this. This looks like completely complicated, out of like, my reach stuff, and I forget about this and uh, went to the university. Then my friend came and uh, told me, like, uh, you should check a blender. Uh, like, they're just uh, releasing 2.5 version. They completely changed the UIs. And it's amazing. And when I opened it again, I, I just uh, was amazed. And I researched the rabbit hole. And since that, it's my like, first go-to tool. And it's the best tool ever. Uh, yeah, and then I move with my life. And I get married. And I try to do uh, my first big game. Uh, and since I take inspiration from my life, I come up with the idea of a housework simulator for men. Uh, yeah, I call it Angry Wife. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've, we didn't finish it, the project, but I was left with a couple of assets. And like m maybe some of you have also some assets that you were left with in the hard drive. And I decided uh, I, I can find something so I can use it with. And since there was a new store uh, launching on the Unity, Unity Asset Store, I bundled those four trees, one ten and two rocks, and call it the ultimate pack for low poly graphics. <laughs> and then the first month uh, came uh, by, and I got my first salary, and I felt like a millionaire. Like, wow. <laughs> for the first time, I uh, like, managed to like, earn money out of uh, like, what I'm doing. <laughs> So, yeah, I told myself, this is something I can stick with, and I should probably improve the pack since, like, it's not that ultimate, right? <laughs> so I spent another eight years uh, working on that and expanding them, and, uh, yeah, uh, we started to celebrating each year with a, uh, like, bigger release uh, with our community that starts growing, and since that was working, I just told myself, okay, what should, do I, uh, what should I do next? And always it's a good uh, thing to ask yourself these questions, like what the users need, what is missing in the market? And since I was also doing this still uh, from my own bedroom now, uh, what is fun to make? And I found a friend, uh, he was doing the animations, and we, we found out that there is no animals or good low-poly animals on the market. And it's because uh, like, uh, it's really hard to make the good topology, rig them, animate them, and we also creating some own AI scripts that you can drag and drop them in your game. So we did that. And this became quite popular. And then like, the users wanted animated people. So we went over that. And when the pandemic struck, uh, we became like uh, one of the top 10 sellers on the Unity Asset Store. When uh, you were searching for low poly, you just found our free stuff like uh, on the start. 
and we expand our portfolio from uh, uh, from the Unity to the Unreal Market, and then on Sketchfab, overall selling more than 100,000 assets globally. Yeah, so now you have assets. Uh, how can you uh, promote them? How could uh, you can let the users know that you have them? Uh, we're trying to do this a little bit more clever since we didn't have like big marketing budget, and we, uh, we were doing this basically in two people still. Uh, so we decided that art would be the good thing to promote our stuff. And we created a motto, creating stunning content, but ready to drag into your games. Then I found out that 50% of my work became a marketing. And we came up with this idea of these small little words uh, made with the low poly that became quite popular. And it was a good thing for us to show what can you build with this ultimate pack. And yeah, uh, there were some publications on top of it. Uh, even the community outside the game dev start, uh, starting to do our like designs, and we were glad to see that it's popular. <laughs> and uh, when you have like the content, you promoting the stuff, you also need a brand and uh, starting to build your company. Uh, we decided we want to be recognizable, memorable. And we don't take ourselves seriously, so we want to make a tone of voice a little bit more fun. For that, uh, we created uh, our own typeface uh, with the color codes and symbols that we are using through our portfolio. So if you see our stuff, you, you know that it's us. And this is just a small picture from one ad campaign on Google for the Ultimate. Just you can see how much stuff are needed, actually. Yeah, over the years, the Polyperfect team grew. And it started at Pavel's home, but then it started growing in people working on both games and assets. And as you can see, these two teams are interchanging. There are some people switching from one team to another, which is natural because these you know, teams overlap and, and supplement each other. And I also belong to the asset team, but my story with Pavel is a bit different because before I met him, I was already trying to sell my four small products on Blender Market, and these were mostly EV stylized shaders like Pastellini for pastel graphics, Inkwood for ink, and so on. And uh, I used this extra re revenue to give me some freedom and to, to launch some bigger, more ambitious animation projects. And when I moved with my team to the same building where, where Polyperfect was sitting, we just said hello and started cooperating like from day one because it was just so great match. And we decided that we'd like to team up and create a new product together because we like to you know, try to get to the next level with the stylized graphic. You know? Not going realistic, just use these assets, but better. And we created Poly Universal Pack. And you know, in comparison with Poly Ultimate Pack, this, uh, this has more details. We call it first person ready, which means that for example, the cars have interiors, you can drive it and see the interface and so on. And my job was to create these renders. And you know, I just uh, needed to show these things to the customers. And after I made like 20 of these, I noticed that there's enough detail in these assets that they can be not only used for gaming, but maybe also for like real animation production. And to prove my point, I, I just put these scenes together. You see steampunk, survival, and farming. And I think this experiment went well, and at this point we are finding ways how to use these graphics in a real animated series or similar projects. Here's some work in progress on that. And going back to the team, we had to organize. So we employ these Google spreadsheets to track the progress, right? We have Puref for brainstorming and gathering references. We also have written guidelines because for this kind of style, it's very important to keep it consistent throughout the packs and the team, which is quite challenging. But at this point, we, we have it, so that's right. And we also use Sketchfab because we really like the idea that, that the customers can see the models before they buy it, so they can just go through the packs and use it, which is amazing. Uh, our modeling team is just great, and they are not only doing the modeling and texturing and the ideas, the brainstorming, but they also create little GeoNode-based tools. We call them poly tools, and with them, 
they are making our lives easier because we have this rope creator, wine creator, and uh, for most of these, uh, the responsible guy is Pavel Oliva, you might know him, he is called Tarox, aka, and he is the creator of Buildify, for example. We are both engaged in education. We are taking care about the devs around the packs because the idea is that when we are this kind of bigger, we like to give them more resources so they can create better games and better stuff. So we give them knowledge, tools, etc. But we also work with the younger generation of Blender artists. And for example, I'm working with graphic designers, uh, students from high school that I'm teaching Blender. And Pavel created his own department at the university called the Game Design, so you can actually study game design with him, which is great. I also do like lighting lectures and so on. So yeah, we really try. Yeah, we basically love to think globally, but act locally and changing the world around us. Uh, one thing that is also really important when you are a set seller is the support. And we do everything from the emails, tutorials, documentation, community management, and social sites. We find out that uh, by doing tutorials and documentation, we can really like, make our uh, life easier. So that's our uh, priority. We also take pride that all of our like packs has five star rating on uh, every store, but most of the time we are just explaining our users what are the differences between two, these two because we choose the names so poorly. Uh, and uh, these are just the showcase from some uh, uh, yeah, visuals from the social sites. So we do some giveaways, uh, contests, and uh, just trying to have fun. Uh, we have the tutorial series with my friend Pablo, and also <laughs> we have the programming uh, series with Shane, our lead programmer. Yeah, and why, you might ask, it's a great idea to have these digital products out there. And there are several reasons. I think the, m the main of these is that it's your invention that you are maintaining, yeah, and it's not like commission, uh, because commission is like you get it done, you get paid, and that's it. This is more like you get it done, and maybe if you are successful, you get paid a little, but then you'll, you might get paid a little like over three years every month, and you can kind of, you know, if, you, if you'll be working on that, you can build a company around it, like Pavel did, and you can uh, get some freedom. You can also finance your artsy film project with that, which is also amazing. And there's also the, the viewpoint to that, that you are helping the community because I myself, I'm using uh, like quite a lot of products on my personal projects from the community and it's amazing to see the users to work with these because it's, it's really great, so yeah. Yeah, but what's next you might ask for us and for you? Uh, with the ever-changing industry, uh, you have to look for new opportunities. Uh, we see that new tech comes every, every year. So yeah, uh, be cautious. Uh, look, find something you are good at. And also, we are quite, uh, we are quite happy with this new next one. Yeah, yeah, totally. We are super happy uh, for this new marketplace that Epic Games is launching. It's called Fab. It will come live next year, 2024, and we'll be offering new products for different audiences there. So yeah, watch out. That will be great. Yeah, and finally, we are making our dreams uh, true. We use uh, most of our the money back into the developing uh, game developing, and we are actually launching this game uh, in a few days on Steam in early access. So, uh, if you can check it, uh, we and write us if you like it. Uh, we will be really, we will really appreciate that. <laughs> and just little one more thing. <laughs> that the users are constantly ask, uh, asking us for, and it's this product that is still missing from our portfolio and the store, and we decided to give it a go. And today, you'll be the first audience to see the trailer for that, so sit tight and enjoy.
thank you, thank you very much. <laughs> Fantasy animals, that's right. Yeah, you might heard about animals, low-poly animals, but have you heard about fantasy animals? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay, thank you very much. That's all from me. I'll give it back to Pavel. Yeah, uh, thank you for listening. Uh, if you can, you, you can check our socials. Uh, we will be here after lunch. You can meet us on the uh, Fab booth. And yeah, come hang out. Yeah, we can discuss the things. And yeah, we will see you there. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you.